Hi, this is Jared, and in this video, I'm actually going to try and scare you into protecting yourself. So, storing passwords for convenience in browsers or password managers is not in your best interest, and I'm not really trying to teach people how to hack or exploit people, but I'm going to show you a few things that might not go well for you and try and scare you out of storing your passwords in those until the industry has a chance to take my suggestion at the end of the video on how to fix it super easy. All right, let's begin the scaring. So, first up on the list, I'm going to show you Firefox. Again, love Firefox. Not really trying to, you know, bash on any of the things you're seeing in this video. So, I'm going to go to the upper right on the settings area and go to options. And over to privacy and security and then to the saved logins button. And it shows me places I've been. Now, if yours is a long list and you love Firefox, that's great. But go here and scare yourself. There's a button that says show passwords. Are you sure you want to show passwords? Yes. Now all of a sudden they're all exposed. So when you thought that somebody might come up behind you if you forgot to lock your computer and only maybe visit one website and you'd probably come back and notice them and catch them before they made off and did something that you didn't want, you'd be wrong. They can get at these passwords immensely fast and go ahead and try and exploit you elsewhere where they're safe to do so. Yeah, I'm trying to scare you a little bit. Okay, so that's one piece of scary. Let's go ahead and close Firefox. Next up on our list, although pretty much all the browsers are affected, I'm going to go ahead and show you Chrome for the sake of brevity. And we're going to go ahead and visit Amazon once again. Not trying to pick against Amazon. You know, any web page would probably do this. I'm just showing you Amazon because it's a very big, awesome, you know, offering that benefits a lot of people. So. We're going to go ahead and hit the drop down here and hit sign in. And in Chrome, I've gone ahead and said, yes, I wanted you to save my username and password for my convenience. And there it put in my password, which is totally great. All right, well, let's go ahead and right click on that and choose inspect element. This brings open the developer tools and it went ahead and jumped all the way through the rendering of the web page to that exact part of the form, the password, since I right clicked on it. Now, in the design of this by you know awesome web developers like Amazon this is you know everyone's pretty much affected with this you can go in and where it says the type of input is a password because it says password and nothing else that's what accomplishes those dots to obscure the password that was literally put in there so I will type in something other than that type LOL although it is certainly no net laughing matter and I'll go ahead and click away to anywhere else or tab away and it just exposes the password right there so even though with Firefox it would show you a quick list you can still visit a lot of different places someone has been and you could get at that password pretty easy so hopefully you're feeling scared already that wouldn't be good if they could get to that now that's not to say they can get to your credit card the full way they could get to your credit card that much is true as well if that was also stored but oftentimes a lot of purchases won't go through because they want those three digits on the back of the card and that usually isn't stored within your browser. Uh, so a little bit protected there to a degree. Next, I'm going to go ahead and kick out of developer mode again. And we have this here. I'll go back to the base of Amazon. And we're at Amazon again. And I'm not logged in. Nope, not logged in. So I need to sign in again, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on something. That's a very cool password manager. Again, not trying to make fun of everything. I'm going to go to my extensions and turn on what I had turned off temporarily. LastPass. There's quite a few different manufacturers. This one has some great features, but I just turned it on. I didn't have to sign in after rebooting my computer. It's just on for my, my login. So if somebody trails behind me, the same potential exploit can happen here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in now. And it has that again. I'll hit continue. But instead of Chrome putting the password in, LastPass can actually put it in for you by hitting that or it automatically fills it in. Once those it's in there and those dots are displayed, that's just merely a little baby obscuring of what is already injected in there, your password. So same rules apply. Right click, inspect element, and then you just go on where it says type and uh, type something different oh no and there it is exposed again 
So that is not so good. So what is my grand fix for all of this convenience not being very convenient for you and potentially exposing you if somebody comes up behind you and you forgot to log out or lock your computer? The fix for it is there's nothing wrong with convenience. Just put a PIN number or something small in the way so when you visit a page like that, your browser doesn't go, hey, goody, I'll put your username and your password in without any sort of key code to any degree. Four digits. It would protect people so much better. So that's my little fix for this situation. And if you're scared, stop doing that temporarily until the world gets a little safer. All right. Thanks for watching.